Hello everyone, my name is Nilesh. In my earlier videos on JDBC, I talked about JDBC concepts and programming. There, we learn how to execute SQL queries on RDBMS using JDBC statement and prevent SQL injection using prepare statement or callable statement. We also discuss about transaction management using JDBC. We can write these JDBC code into Java AC standalone application as well as Java web application. However, if my application is bigger one, writing JDBC code in almost every method make my application highly unreadable and unmaintainable. It is very standard practice to put all JDBC code into some set of classes, usually referred as data access layer or data access object in this video i will show you how to create these data access object in jdbc application and how to make our application very much readable and maintainable so a typical java application involving jdbc looks like this where end user refer to front end the front end will execute the business logic and most of the time business logic need some data to be taken from the database which is typically done by the set of classes called as data access object or data access layer this sort of application where you can see three clear different parts can be referred as three tier application now in this demo we will show you how to implement the data access object and how to call them from the main class directly. So for this very simple example, I will be creating a student table in RDBMS. Then for writing data access layer, we will first create DB util class that creates JDBC connection. Then we will write student DAO class, which actually performs CRUD operation on the database to hold each row data from the student table, we will also create a student OJO class, which is also referred as entity class. And this simple demo, we will not write in any sort of business logic. Instead, we will directly write a main class. And from there, we will call the methods to test them. For this application, the steps will be very straightforward. All we need to create a table, then one maven project, and start implementing classes one by one. Now it's time to actual code. Let me open my Eclipse ID. We will create new Maven project. You must have seen my Maven video where I explained how to deal with the Maven project. You can go back and refer to that if you do not recall them. Right now I'm creating a simple project. I click on next. I will have group ID, let's say com.example, artifact ID where this is JDBC demo 06, name of the project, I am going to keep it same, let me click on finish. Now let us go to the pom.xml file and into pom.xml file, I want to add my SQL dependency. Dependency is added under dependency section and this is a dependency that I have copied it from the maven website i'm using mysql driver version 8.0.30 i need to also ensure that the java 11 settings are updated over here so i will go to the properties i'll also add maven compiler source as 11 and also my dot class file should be compatible with java 11 right now it is showing me the java version 1.5 updating maven project so that my java 11 setting are taken care now it's time we can get started with the actual coding the very first class that i want to create is db util class db util class will be creating jdbc connection here i want to put my general properties Now 
my database utility basic properties are given i will try to load the class and ensure that my driver exists into the class path i'm exiting from the application if the driver is not found now i want to write a method which will create a connection and return it for creating a connection we can use a driver manager now my database utility class is ready whenever i need jdbc connection i will just make a call dbutil dot get connection please note that method is static method now let us create a pojo class to hold student records now it is time to write our main dao class again it is very good practice not to start with the class but to start with a interface so let me first create a student data access object interface and for this simple demo i will be writing only two three methods the first method find by id which is taking roll number and returning corresponding student object the second method i am writing find all which will return me list of all students the third method i want to make it save which will insert the given student object now we can go ahead to implement the actual class my class is to be inherited from student dao and we need to implement all the methods in this however for each method we will need a jdbc connection instead of creating a jdbc connection in every method i'm planning to keep it in a constructor so that i need not to repeat the same code again and again here i declare a connection data member and in a constructor let me make connection using our db util now to close the connection immediately i will be going with auto closable auto closable will also help me to use try with resource syntax with my student dao class i do not want to throw any exception over here so let me close the connection now we can start implementing methods one by one the first method i'm looking forward is find by id method it is simple select query and as you are aware using prepare statement is always a better idea since the query has got only one question mark only one parameter i must set that value since it is a select query i will be using execute query which will return me the result set for a given roll number i am expecting to have only one student at max so instead of while loop i will use rs dot next in a if statement if record is found the if block will be executed and i can fetch column one by one so first column is roll number second column is name third column is marks i can convert these values into the student object and then we will return the student object if it is not found it will return null values on the parallel line i want to also make code for find all i do not need any where clause no parameter to be set i want to create list of student and every student that i have created i want to add it into the list so list dot add and i can add this at the end i will return the list the exception that are getting thrown i can throw it 
from the method. The find all method is expected to fetch all the students from the database and return. Instead of writing if, I will write while so that all rows are fetched one after another and then add into the list. Now for the save method, I need to execute the insert query. Again, I will create a new prep statement. We need to set values for all three question marks. Now we can execute the query. Since the query is DML query, I need to go with the execute update. Here I am returning number of affected rows. If the query is executed successfully, the count is expected to be 1. Again, I am putting throws exception clause. Since we are overriding method from interface, this throws clause expected to be there in interface as well. So let me go back and put them into the interface as well. Since we are calling that student DAO from the main, we can also make our interface inherited from auto closable. Now it's time to create a main class. New class JDBC demo 6 main. We will use try with resource syntax. Since we have used auto closable, now student DAO DAO is equal to new student DAO IMPL and this will ensure that moment try block is completed, the DAO is closed automatically. DAO close method is guaranteed to be called irrespective of exception occurs or not. This will avoid the need of explicit finally clause. If there is an exception, let me print it. Now we can test it DAO dot find all. It returns list of students and I can quickly use for each loop to iterate through this list and I am printing. Now let us execute this and check if it is ready. Run as Java application. Great. So all students are fetched. What if if I want to insert a new student? Let me give a try on that as well. You can create a new DAO object or you can continue using the same DAO object. Here I am creating a separate DAO object. I want to create one more student. Let's say role number is 6. Name of the student is let's say Elon. And marks for this student is 97. DAO dot save. You pass the student and it will return me count. Now let us execute this once again. One student is inserted successfully and the list also have the newly added student. In this video, we learn how to create data access layer in JDBC application. I hope you find this useful. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you very much.